I'm Wag D and I'm out the power line and when you watching Nola Zing TV. This episode is brought to you by the Loyalty Club, one of the hottest brands out where they keep their items limited and only for the loyal few. Check us out online at theloyaltyclub.us or if you're in New Orleans area, you can check us out at our flagship store, 841 Fulton Street. You already know what time it is. Only for the loyal few club time. All right. Hey, so what the power line is? The power line, you take 90. It's past Marrero, past West Wigo, you take 90, make that right. Hey, but I can know what power line is, but I just play like that because you got to tell the world where you're right. at. Yeah. I hear that, you know, if I hear that name in a long time. Thanks, take 90, make that right, you hear me? Walk this. So in the power line, I'm like, Kenny Heights? Kenny Heights. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, you know, for people who don't know, tell them how I go down on the Kenny Heights. Shit, in Kenny Heights, niggas know. Stop acting crazy, come back from there. You know, Tim Smooth. From the old, you know, old to young. You got a lot of legends back there. The Lil, you hear me? Olympic, I cross on the film. We doing it. Yeah, a lot of people actually stayed in Kenny Heights before. Facts. And one of the biggest drug dealers in New Orleans stayed in Kenny Heights. And that's Richard Pena. A lot right. of people don't know that. A lot of people don't. <laughs> yeah, I got family from Kenny Heights. Everybody last name McKeel. So I know how to get that done. <laughs> Fact, that's yeah. crazy. But um, anyways, so growing up for yourself, who actually um like got you into um like making music? Like my, I ain't gonna lie, like my partner. I been freestyling, but like recording. My partner Tyrone, he deceased. He was doing rapping in 2015 and like before, and like when he died, like he got a song that he ain't get to even like. You know, live up to it. like he ain't gonna see it. So it made me want to do it. But my partner Blake, his name Blizzard. Like I was in the car with that boy, and it was me and him and a and a female. You hear me? So I had someone to her phone. I ain't never had no phone until like high school, bro. So boom, I stole her phone. I started making voice memos, sending it to them boys. So boom, I had got the studio. You probably heard of Westside Wings, you hear me? My son, he showed me the studio on Federal. That boy, Cal. So, boom, after that, nigga started shooting videos. I got my first video shot by Zinc Twins. And fuck them, bro, he been shooting my, uh, my fucking, my snippets and shit. Like, before I started, like, really going global, I ain't gonna say, but well, I'm going global with the shit. He started, uh, he picked up the lens, and now we, we hooked. So, for the people watching this now, Cause you know, every New Orleans always trying to play on the West Bank. Right, they so always. like you know, like how you feel about you know, you trying to like it'll make a big impact in the whole Louisiana. Cause you know, like people in New Orleans don't really claim the West Bank, but if the West Bank is the same shit that go down everywhere. I ain't gonna cap how I look at it, bro. We take the same general, we go to the same mall, same stores. And to be honest, but we started a lot of a, a lot of everything. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of trends like that. I'm telling you, like that. Stop back and crazy. It come from G Baby. Finally stole it from him, and everybody, the whole everybody saying it. Hey, but from Marrero though. She from Marrero. I give her that. But you know where it come from. Okay, nice. We got we got shirts that we got <laughs> we got fact, shit, shit really to vouch. Like like we got shit to vouch. We got the shit. It ain't it ain't fiction, bro. It's, it's real shit. So, like, the thing is, I would think, like, you know, I always thought about it, like, I don't know why the whole West Bank just don't, like, the whole West Side just don't stick together. That's what I mean. And just go against, you know, because, you know, all these, all these ain't gonna have to stick together either, but it's just the point of somebody to stick together, because you need all them, all them places. Fact, that's why I'm on, like, I'm willing to work with anybody, like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm tired of, like, stopping my group for somebody else, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm on, I'm on time, like, I'm trying to work with everybody, like, the nigga trying to get this shit global, bro. Like, we down here, bro, nigga go, like, the Shamrock shit just closed, where y'all gonna go now? Like, what y'all gonna do? Nigga gotta really come together, bro. Shout out TZ, bro, cause, like, I, like since he been coming, like, bro, I, nigga watch that boy, like, people used to try to shit on him, cause the little kids love him. Like, nigga watch the nigga TZ take out them big ass things, but bro, bro, shitting on like, you see what I'm saying? And, like, I see this shit, bro. Like, nigga be, like, I ain't gonna say nigga next time, but nigga see this shit, bro. Like, bro be helping me, like, getting, you know? So, like, 
this shit real, bro. Like, nigga trying to do this, bro. Everybody got to come together with this shit, bro. And we can win, bro. Like, that been right from nine, bro. When he brought all them dudes out, bro. Like, nigga been around everybody he brought out before besides him, bro. Like, and it's just one leap, bro. Yeah, one. I think it's still going to drop a lot. Facts. Facts. But, um, you know, even, like, just being a music artist, sometimes it get kind of hard down here because we in a fucked up city where everybody beefing. Everybody beefing. Nigga want they partner to win. But brother, it's like it's like even a rapper. Like sometimes, if the rapper might not be beefing, but it's probably beefing. So like you put up part of the beef. Fact, that's so how, it, that's how. And so it, and so it kind of be hard for you to like move around and do right. certain things because like that's what I mean. Like when I say I, I was stunning my growth. Like nigga got to grow from that, bro. Like that shit. Like that shit had me still. Like you know, see what I'm saying, brother. I'm telling you, brother. Like nigga pulls a bent take off, brother. Like I been had the people. Yeah, brother. You gonna yeah, you know. But that, like, nigga need everybody to come together, bro, because that hating shit, bro, is going to leave us right here, bro. This shit been here. Well, I always tell people, you know, keep the streets in the streets and keep the like, keep the music where the music at. Like, when y'all like, when y'all see each other at the club or awards, man, you ain't got to do nobody nothing there. Catch them in the street. Catch them in traffic. Don't don't catch the person where everybody watching yet. Like, That's don't right. even cause a scene. Like, just me, I'm from the old school. Like, nobody need to know we be but me and you. If it, if it, when it happened, it happened. But That's you ain't got to involve everybody. And I think a lot of music artists do that and they actually, like, mess their money up. Like, ain't nobody trying to work with you. Nobody trying to book you. You going to you gonna get me shut down. Nigga think you, you going commercial, but you really, you really being smart, bro. Like, if you want to be local, bro, continue doing that. If you want to be global, come together, brother. I'm telling you, there's more bread, brother. Because if y'all start beefing, I'm going to just say, in general, like, if y'all stop beefing with them, everything gonna come together. Nigga gonna be able to go to this store. Nigga gonna be able to go to this store without no conflict. Nigga gonna be able to go to I'm that I'm just place. realistic. Beef ain't about to stop. It, it ain't, but you know. But bloodshed, that shit dead. Ain't no <laughs> That shit bro, dead. It, like, brother, how I look at it, fuck them niggas who ain't rolling with it. But they ain't with it, keep going. Peace with that, you know. How did you come up? I'm like, with your rap name? My rap name? Like my little partner, Cal. You know, nigga, I'm from federal, from Canada, you hear me? But my partner, Cal, that boy came up with my name on Georgetown, you hear me? I used to have dreads, long dreads, that boy, like, bitch, I ain't calling you such and such no more. Bitch, your name, why? Boom. And I came up with the federal boy, Deezy, you hear me? Rest in peace, my dude. That's why my name, Walk Deezy, like. Gotcha. So, what separates you from everybody else down here? Like, me personally, I'm authentic, and I, like, I got different sounds. I don't be trying to be one-dimensional, like, like, I can spit something to you right now, and, like, different flows, like, you'll be like, he really nice, like, sometimes. Yeah, but that was coming next. I about to tell you, man, you know, for people who never heard the rap, I want you to spit something. All right, like, what type of genre? How you feel? All right. I come on up there, like, I see Walking through my city in the rest of the raven, I just caught a vision. I'm the one who bout to make it, change how a nigga living. Rest all my niggas dead and gone. Sometimes I wonder why heaven they don't got a phone. I lost too many people in 22 just alone. 23 came around, now my son and be gone. And I fucked up part of body, my son just had came home. I pray here at least he stay strong, this one more than just a song. Losing all my niggas, thinking about the memories that we shared. When I, ooh, I got some more shit. You hear me? I come on that bitch like. LeBro, he be flushing shit, like an ambulance. That little bitch, he be rushing shit. Don't cover my government. You yeah, my grandma, mom, my sister, brother, and them. Rest of you, I fuck with him. Dude's talking to Goo, and he said that shit, fuck with him. About to roll up another one. I'm loaded off thrack, that shit got me stuttering. From the heights, if you wondering. Lil' Watt gon' shine if it's raining and thundering. If she fucking, I'm coming in. If it's raining, brother, we go do some other shit. You hear me? I come with some other shit. And I, I, I got buku shit. I fucked up on that boy. But I got buku shit, you see? Yeah. So, do you have any brand new music coming up or, or any futures? I don't want to expose it. Like, if I expose my hand, nigga gonna be, you hear me? I ain't even, I'm gonna just wait on that. But I got a lot of music. I got a lot of music, bro. I just need the traction, bro. That's all I'm, I gotta, like, cause I got a lot of products that, are, like, I'm trying to get paid for this shit, like, le like, legitly, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I tell them, man, the music, the music been is easy enough. All you need is a phone. Just like how you say, you know, but you stole the phone and went with your move. You just need a phone and um, just drop reels like three times a week. 
Three times. Three times a week. And if you can, just and we get in with like a media company in like East City and just try to get posted. Man, this game is it, it way more easier than it was back in the day. Back then it cost a lot of money. I ain't gonna cap, I got posted on GDP they was, they was fucking with me. I ain't gonna lie. Like and GD show love, GD. Yeah. GD, GD. GD cares more for the culture. I used to be like that till fuck people start saying fuck me, so I say fuck everybody. I don't be tripping. I treat everybody the same now. Yeah, but you know the game, you know, it's like New Orleans. Like, we only give people our flowers as long as we doing something for them. But soon as you say no, nigga, like fuck. Me. Thanks. So I treat everybody the same. I'm a tripping. Thanks. But you know, GD definitely doing what he's supposed to be doing. And I actually encourage other people to start start like media companies and different things like that. So nobody will be looking for me. Like, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You were really my first real, real interview besides bro asking me the question. Right. Like, so that's why you know. I was most. You, I bro. was most. Everyone down here for first interview. Like people didn't know that. Like people didn't didn't even know that know that they had that many music artists down here. Like right. I actually interviewed more people than fucking the fucking fat fat and all that ever did in life. Lord damn. Cause damn. they only interview like you know. It yeah, but like cash money, no limit back in the day. I gave opportunity and, 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 and like a green light to like, you know, artists who it, it, it probably would have never had their voices heard. Fact, you gave a couple, uh, you gave a uh, big platform to a couple niggas I went to school with. But I actually got the game from Six Cheese, straight from him. Like, but I don't, I'm not the person that tell people, oh, this, I be talking to dude or doing that. That ain't my personality. But he count. told me that. I just seen two feet, bro. I just knew your voice. Like, yeah, I ain't showing my feet. <laughs> but I ain't lying. A lot of people, in this whole city, know who I am before this. But, you know, you got Just like I said, I, I was to be a kid in ice. I had a lot of family members with it. Matter of fact, they, they, they like robbed my real partner. When he find a phone, he gonna write me. Like, yeah. like, hey, but I created Mr. Harvey Facebook uh, in MySpace. Like, I in mean, that trail on the back street. Well, what, what the graveyard So we talking about that. Yeah. So we talking about that. Let's take it that. What did you make me say? Let's start that. I used to be in Scottsdale. I, all the places. I'm going to break it down. Let me break it down. Niggas be saying such and such. That Harvey Hustler shit, bro. It started in the hood. It started in Cage. I don't know what they did. I got to get a real history. That The Harvey Hustler didn't start in Avondale, but they side did. All Harvey right. Hustler started with Harvey. All right. Because I know, I know all the Harvey. Mr. Harvey, he come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, he come from? Hold Avondale. up. Don't, don't say Avondale. I'm sorry. Um, Garden from? Road. And what that is? Let's get high. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't want. I don't know the politics of that. Right. Let me get high. Let me just be sad. You know. But I've been to the house though. Exactly. You know. That's what I'm saying, bro. So I, I like, know all his brothers from Bub to all of them. Like, I already right, know all right. of them. But he definitely he, he held it down from you know. Real talk. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I want to remake one of that boy uh, songs. But you know, Harvey was a, 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 a he was a different individual. I'm glad I wasn't doing interviews when he was alive, but... Hey, dude, I ain't gonna stunt, bro. I, I be watching, like, that boy YouTube and shit, bro. Because, like, I got people that really was on that street. Like, right. like they But be everybody you see in the videos are still around me to this day. Like, they be telling me stories and shit, like... Like, like I seen, like... I ain't, I'm gonna say, like, the end of it. You see? I seen yeah. the end of the... They seen everything, like, so the F they be running, I be like, damn, all this happened. The heights was like this back... Because I always be trying to, like, know shit, like, I be on learn, bro. I ain't gonna cap. But if even my cousin, if even my cousin Jig, if he used to bring kid, kid back there and all that, like, there yeah, people used to always, like, Tim Smooth did, did on, um, if did video shows at the park. Facts, see, my people put me on Jig. Yeah. Jig just, Jig just was a person, yeah. he'd be dipping through King Ice, but he's from King Ice, but he Fact. used to hang in the Magnolia more than the King Ice. I, I don't know if he's still on House Rest or not. Nah, he ain't on House Rest. I know that's where he came when, you know. He came home, he came straight to, yeah, 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 he'll so, tell me, yeah. Yeah, real power line person, yeah. And shout out my son Wolf, pushing that power line shit. Right. Gotcha. So, you know, I don't know the history, so I don't know if you do. How did the name power line actually um, come about? See, my knowledge, we go off the, the power line running through the field, like, you see what I'm saying? That's what we go off of. And, like, I ain't gonna cap, like, I, the old heads used to be, like, the power line, and they, they they always try to separate it, like, Washington Place and the power line. That's how they be trying to do it before. We just call the whole thing power line. Like They used to have a lot of fights and shit back there, too. Like, they try to segregate yeah. the shit, it but... It be, like, a meetup spot. 
Yeah. Man, fighting everybody. Yeah, <laughs> right. that, right. like, that was like one of the main meetup spots for fighting. The power line, yeah. right? Let's be by the power line. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Look, nigga was like, uh, <laughs> see, this is ugly now. Fuck, nigga was like, <laughs> nigga <laughs> told me, uh, them boys used to be going, like, on the other side of the hood, going to knock all the boy trash cans down like dude was on Friday. Nigga told me they used to be doing all that shit. Hey. So being in the music industry for a while now, tell us what you enjoy most about it and what do you actually hate about it. Like what I enjoy the most about it, like I enjoy like meeting new people and like saying like not like you know how you are like I ain't gonna say you're an idolizer person, but you're like you'll like that person, right? And then when you meet them, ain't like how you expect it. So I like to see like the real like you know. But I like the feedback with it, cause like, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but my music speaks for itself. So like, I be getting good, good feedback. Right. You know, just before people know, I want to know, you know, cause, cause I can see it, but I don't, I, you know, I show my face on camera, but you know, but I want to keep it, you know, I will keep the name alive. Far as like to, to you know, power line to Kenny Heights, and like, what does Mr. Harvey actually, ever like mean to that hood? He mean everything. You can't, I ain't gonna stay. Like, if you go in the hood and go see anything about Mr. Harvey, something about to happen to you. And, and, and our hood, other, other hood. You hear me? And that's just facts. Yeah, because, you know, a, a, a lot of people don't really keep his name alive. I, I, I got somebody in mind on an interview. If he, 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 he say he gonna do it one day, the closest person I know that can do it right for him, but... We're gonna do the interview, but I always, you know, people don't like the world seeing certain videos from the like, you know, the documentaries. But a lot of people don't really hear that name too often. Right. Gotcha. That boy had DJ drama, like that speaks for itself. Yeah. Like that, that speaks for itself. He did more DJ drama. He did Don Cannon, all of them. Yeah. Gotcha. And all his ice was real. What you say? All his ice was real. Ice was real. Oh, but no bang bang in his words, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no bang bang. Gotcha. So, where you see your music career going I'm like three years from now? Three years from now, like the vision I got right now, I'm on a, like, I'm on a feature hunt, like, so I'm out of work with everybody, and I'm trying to like, that other shit over with, nigga just trying to elevate, state to state, right up top, right up top. So, you know, for the music industry now, like, well, not the music industry, for New Orleans. Do you feel like New Orleans music scene is actually growing right now? Fucking okay, right. Most definitely. Most definitely. I ain't gonna cap. So, so like, far as being a music artist, what is your, I'm like, creative I'm process? Like, when I, I just try to visualize some, some real stuff, like, and I try to, like, paint different pictures like I try to make everybody because I know everybody been through something and like boom nigga could have like nigga could have jacked you nigga talk about you know that real shit nigga talk about coming up like everybody trying to come up like nigga talk about the pain the good the bad the ugly I know everybody been through something so like that's how I try to and I can speak on that just a whole lot in, in like interviews down here. I say your yeah, average person down here has probably probably PTSD. Yeah. It's because it is nine out of ten, you know, like it's either you saw someone that got killed or you know someone that has been killed, and, and that shit not normal. Yeah. And people like make it like it's normal, but it's only normal to like certain cities. I don't care. It's like niggas on the internet, niggas just man, they just watching that shit, trying to do it. Like you see what I'm saying. That shit ain't cool, bro. Yeah, the world right now, living this bitch like a Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and like once a nigga kill him, they watch it. Jump back in out the sky like Fortnite, come right back yeah, out. What's up, bro? Like, nigga act like, like, like they like he got sequels. Shout out my son, Moon, son. That bitch be on Call of Duty. Nigga act like this bitch real life Call of Duty. Yeah, I don't, like, <laughs> and, like, why you think that, you know? Like, they, like a certain see. age just feel like they on Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto. Like, they just go play the video games, go try that shit in real, in real life. Well, I know, but fuck. Niggas just be, niggas be saying shit, and they be like, man, I think I could do it. I probably could do it better. Let me go fuck with it. You hear me? Niggas be just tripping. Like, if I see a nigga burn his hand, brother, I'm not about to burn mine. Like, 
What the fuck? I got a question. Because, you know, like the older people, like my age and a little older, be like, man, them dudes out there, they, they wildin'. Like, they just, like, my generation make it seem like we ain't do all the shit y'all ain't do. But, hey, yeah. but y'all, <laughs> but, like, I can't say, the only thing I know that we did do, we had more respect for everything. It ain't just for the older people. It's females, everything. Like, your generation, well, you are in the generation, guys, put you in there, but. Y'all killing everybody. Y'all don't give a fuck about it like that. Y'all just spread up the whole gas station. Hey, it don't matter who had that bitch. They rap, the cousin, they don't care. I don't care. That shit do be flame. Like, you can't really, like, you, you could go places, brother, but it's like, you, that be a thought. Like, nigga be like, boy, you gonna report it? Man, no, boy, they gonna hit that bitch up. And nigga be like, no, but don't fuck with that. But are you gone? But I'm still fucking with that cone. And that's how that shit be. So, you know, I interviewed a few people that was, you know, in like a younger generation. And they feel like, you know, a lot of people doing a lot of wild stuff because drugs are involved. Like pills, like, and like false courage. Like, how you feel about that? I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't gonna stop niggas. I can't tell niggas how to get their money and shit, bro. But like, it's like, like I said, if nigga come together with it, but you seen fucking... You seen all them niggas like Pablo Escobar, all them dudes, they had, they was making millions. Like, they came, they had a, like, they had a corporation. Like, they was running a business. Like, it wasn't just, oh, let me go copy me acuity, I'm about to, and then you copy acuity, you don't, you don't gonna fuck with it no more. Like, you see what I'm saying? So, nigga just be halfway and halfway out trying to come up. Well, I tell people, you know, I don't, I don't like what you do to become a rapper because making music is very expensive. Like you Studio got time, bread. videos, press, shit. Yeah, but just to stay fly, this shit costs. So I don't knock whatever you got to do. Facts. But I tell everybody, man, go build your fucking crate. Man, you can hey, be, you yeah, can, you can start your shit as a business. You you are an LLC if you're a rapper. That's what. If, if all one fucking record label going to do is give you a loan, but they going to fuck you on it. If a record label give you a $2 million loan, you might not see $500,000. They help you get you a little house. You might get your mama a little house. Get you some chains. Now you in the red. Then you gonna owe them eight million dollars. You ain't gonna owe them two million. Eight, so you gonna forever be in the red. So people don't be learning like people just be going jump out that need a deal, you know. You can go crash out for that deal. Right. But you're gonna be mad because because of what? You the worst thing ever is having money and going back to the hood. Everybody gonna laugh at you. Right. Walking joke. <laughs> that shit crazy. I be crazy. And that's worse than being being on with the drugs and being a crackhead. I ain't gonna be like, I remember, I remember dude used to be like that. That's why I'm still rapping. Like, nigga gonna be like, yeah, that, I went to school with that boy. We used to be balling. You hear me? Nigga gonna be like, all oh, like, they gonna they gonna have good memories about him, nigga. Nigga right. ain't about to be like, yeah, that boy Walk Dizzy used to be rapping. I don't look at him. No, it's about to be, I'm about to shine now. I'm gonna shine later. And I'm gonna shine, my, my, my people gonna shine after. Like, you see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I walk up Canal Street and I see at least five dudes I went to school and like, damn, what the fuck life has hit with you? What happened you know what to you? Saying? What has happened? You know what I'm saying? They be like, you don't remember me? You look older than me. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Shout out my son, Val. I went to school with that boy. He a real supporter, bro. I thought you about to say that boy look older than you. No, like, yo, no, bro. Bro, a real supporter, bro. Nigga, did you get the whip for the video? Nigga called him, he gonna pull up. Every time, bro, like, I fuck with him. G4, shout out G4, he made the beats. Nigga need a beat, he gonna send that. Nigga need a video, hit up Cross, you hear me? Hey, but I'm gonna cross charge. Cross charge him. <laughs> he gonna fuck with you, he gonna do that. He gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna cross y'all, huh? <laughs> hey, but you see what's going on, bro. You see what's going on. So, you know. Being a music artist on the come up, like, how important do you think it is for the half support? Like, what type of support? What, what Any type of support. Well, you need the support. You need the support to keep on staying relevant. I ain't gonna okay. cap. You need the support, because without support, it's just like, that right there on the desk is just sitting there. Like, you see what I'm saying? But sometimes people, you know, hey, but, hey, but I see a rapper coming with a big entourage. 
But you'll go through the entourage page and none of them share to do music or nothing. Like, like, how you feel about, like, that's you know? That's why I bring people who, who, who support shit my shit, bro. Like, nobody here who, who, who I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to hold on, see if that boy really gonna blow. Like, you see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody around like that. I see through all that shit. Like, I've been saying through all that shit. Like, all that, what's that, brother? Yeah, all that. It's dead. Like, bro, I already, we talk about this shit every day, bro. When you blow, when, like, bro in the army, bro, he don't want to do this shit. But I tell people, man, if you got a crew of five or ten people, everybody needs to learn something in the music business. You need to learn how to be a manager. And if somebody legal enough to get a legal gun, you need to learn how to be security to hold a gun. Everybody needs to learn something. Somebody needs to learn how to make the flyers. Somebody needs to learn how to edit the videos. Somebody needs to learn how to create a media page. You, you can do all that. Like, what the hell? I don't need you just posting. Like, I need you to be pushing to, like, like pushing forward. Say, so let me ask you about this, too. Because, like, me personally, I feel like the showcase helping, nigga. But I feel like I supposed to just be doing my own shows, like. You like, can, but you gotta, but like for the bring people out. Hey, but I come from the they were doing the concert promoting world, and some music artists will take their street money and like book a bigger artist and just put them on a fire with them, and that, and that helps too. But for you gotta know what you're doing because you lose your money and and <laughs> and nobody can't see neither one of y'all. Like you right about that, but it, that's what everything like. You right. could cop a cutie and but don't but I ain't gonna lie, you. you can put on your own show. I've just seen it. Hey, fucking okay, YD put on a show for his own mixtape release and had people open up for it. And that's yeah. the first I ever seen it, and I always tell him, man, you own or something. Yeah, I ain't gonna bet, bro. He packed that bitch out. That bitch had like two thousand, three thousand. Talking about the strip club? Yeah. Yeah, he packed. That's the one you shot. In the strip club at down on Tulane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, bro. And uh, they had a little nigga uh, from my way. I think his name GSD Dirty or some shit. Yeah, brother, he he opened up. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people like you know, but I said, but people open up for why like, like he put his own show on and he was the headline. Like, that's why I, I thought like, that was dope. I, I support. I, I salute that because like you still giving another nigga a right. look like. Niggas yeah. ain't even doing that. But also, you know, everybody, man, I want to become like this and this, but like. It's the same formula. Everybody got hot in the water the same thing. Like, hey, before YD, it was it was Rob. Before Rob, it was a few other people, but they didn't get signed. But they but they had the same formula. They stayed consistent. They dropped every week like a weed junkie. Man, like for a good two years strong, dude dropped every week. He was his name was getting brought up. All you gotta do is stay consistent. Right. And what? YD for two years, dude didn't even go out. Dude, dude start going out, going to the strip club every week, dropping videos for two years. Look at him now. If a Rob brought YD out and the whole arena knew a song, that's unheard of. That's hype. If an artist, if who not signed and the people in the arena know your song, if that's unheard of. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I tell people, like, any, anything possible, if it don't also, if it don't go off of what people saying about your music, like, man, I don't like your music. You gotta go find your audience. Hey, I might not like your music, but fuck, you might go to Texas and they love you. I be telling this nigga, I'm like, brother, just cause you don't like the song, right? Don't right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, but don't like, never take yeah. one person opinion. Never, yeah, dude, never bro, take like, brother. Opinion. I swear to God. Who you talking about? Th- th- put his name bro, out there. Yeah. yeah. Bro, every song, bro. Every Cross song. Cross stop hating on that man's song, <laughs> man. Every song that boy <laughs> say. You know what? All it's going to do. Hey, I tell him which ones I fuck with. I ain't going to stop fucking all of them. Hey, he keep it G. I ain't so, man, you one real question. You think Diddy liked every song Biggie made? Exactly. Fuck no. No. But I'm just saying, this nigga be like, brother, you sound like this. You shouldn't have did this. You should. I'm like, brother, let the people decide. You know what you tell him next time? Who the rap? What? <laughs> <laughs> if you stick to what you do, let me do man, what I do. That's funny, man. Like me, that's like me going to the studio. Man, nigga, you put the shit like this. I ain't no fucking rapper. Bro. I don't know how to put these bars together. And then. One studio session, that boy, I think it was like two studio sessions ago. This nigga ain't say nothing, bro. That boy, like... Well, I don't know what you did, but you came with it on your mind. You hear me? Like, that boy, like, I like this one. He ain't gonna treat that bitch and criticize it like he always do. He always do, man. <laughs> he won't be in that bitch, did he, huh? He won't be in all the videos with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he can point that bitch to himself. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. We don't even be strong as feet do that much, son. I just seen him. <laughs> Keep recording that boy on my scene. 
Man, where you see the man? Uh, uh, on a story, it was in New York, he was trying to record something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. Uh, and, um, it's, it's so, let's, if it, I can't get it out. If it, what's next for you? Said, like, I got this feature coming up. I'm just trying to get bigger artists, like, like, bigger artists. And I won't, I won't, I won't try out this dude. Everything check out. I've been watching him, like you hear me. So I'm trying to see. Yeah, shout out Chris Beacon, man. I know. Him. Like I just like I ain't gonna stunt. Shout out this girl. Her name Ty. That she out. She out. Uh, what that place called? Where fucking uh his artist from? La Molly. Molly G. I'm gonna say Markville. Yeah. Markville. And boom. So and that's where he from. Markville. All right. Boom. So shout out to Ty. You hear me? She was. She made a twerk video to my music. She sent me him. Boom. So I ain't fuck with them because like you know a lot of niggas down here they be scamming they be trying to do the fake promotion shit so I'm I'm going off that my my dumb ass I ain't no dude really checked out like how you see so boom see everything check out <laughs> you hear me son so boom I'm out to fuck with that and then I'm out to try to branch out you know I'm out to it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna keep going bro I'm trying to elevate oh yeah know? be in Houston right now he he always had them other showcases. I be saying them. Hey, five nine he got the, Ain't got a decent price, like so. It be like ain't nigga ain't hitting you over the head. And he gonna really give you a tour. He gonna bring you around. He really. Hey, but hey, but I been around him. I been riding around Boosie. He pretty bring you everywhere. But you see what I'm saying? Like you yeah. know how niggas really don't check out. Like some niggas be just scamming for the. Oh, there's way more scammers than they got people that that's really what I'm help you. So that's why I had to like. like a lot of people do oversell themselves and like underliver. But last but not least, tell the world like what can they find you on social media and everywhere. On social media, you gotta type me up. Walk Dizzy. W A K D E E Z Y Y Two Y. They try to make a fake page of me and it ain't work. You hear me? W A K D E E Z Y Y and Fuck. Shout out to the whole hood, you hear me? Anybody I ain't named, you hear me? It's gonna be another one, you hear me? Y'all go check this bitch out, run this bitch up. Shout out Nola Zinc for having a nigga. And y'all gonna see y'all gonna see me move.